Hello, hello. How we do? What we do? What's happening? Uh, so, uh, played Manor Lords the other day. Absolutely horrible at it. Got got absolutely wrecked, and not in the fun way. So, I watched a couple of YouTube videos. Watched a couple of people play, and I have a decent-ish better understanding of the game. So I'm thinking maybe we restart and we start fresh and we play a new game. I think that is a smart idea because we were like a quarter of the way through the winter and our food was almost finished. We had zero supplies and things were not looking great. So I'm thinking with the new information that I have learned, maybe it'll be better. Was at a cafe the other day. Not the other day, today actually, and overheard some random dude talking to whoever he was at the cafe with. Talk about the food, and they said, and I quote, "This milkshake is thicker than some of the women I have been with," and I nearly spat out my my own coffee. So <laughs> that's the funniest fucking thing I've heard. And I don't know if he was saying the milkshake was good or if the milkshake was bad, but. <laughs> He sure said it. New game. We go back to the checkerboard. What is the difference between these two? It looks the exact fucking same. I can't tell what the difference is. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go for. Is that a pair of pants? Oh, <gasps> it's a pair. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is the one. That has to be the one, right? It has to be the pair of pants. Okay, this is perfect. It's a pair of pants. It's. A... We are short pants. A lot, and our thing is a pair of pants. <clears throat> this is me. Let's do it. Hopefully, it doesn't crash this time. Short pants, yes, sir. Pants a lot, like sir. Sir Camelot? Anyway, don't fuck me, game. Please. Please don't fuck me. Please. 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 Let's go, it didn't fuck me. I have never heard of someone be so happy when they haven't been fucked. Anyway, a new message. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. Let's go! Lord, they need food and fuel to survive. Supplies show how much you've got left. Got it. Okay, so, first things first. What we do, as smart people, we look at our resources. There's underground water. Every region has sense and weaknesses. Be sure to check resource deposits and investigate the soil fertility before deciding the direction of your town. This is smart. Yes. Okay, so. This is where we live. Which means that you're under control. Less claims when you have enough influence. Got it. This looks different. Oh, I think every time you drop the game... Okay, so. You need the middle mouse button to drag um, around. That's good to know. I think this looks different from the map that we played last time because last time the, the food deposit was all the way over here which is good this is this means that um, every region is different plus we're also we are in the bottom left corner that's the same thing but this is interesting okay I like that I like it Picasso okay let's look at resources uh, underground water Ooh, okay. So this means that we can potentially... Okay, so we can potentially put our water here, up north. Let me see fertility. We have emmer. Emmer can go here. There's a lot of emmer. Flax, which is not decent. Barley is not decent either. Rye. Okay, there's a lot of rye fertility here. Rye and emmer are, are basically in the same area. So that's good. The other thing that I also realized, you don't have to build right next to where you start. It doesn't have to be that way. So I'm thinking we build somewhere here, 
so it's close to the berries right but also close to um <clears throat> the fields and and the wild animals so we can get a variety of food started early right so emmer is going to be here potentially where else can it go on this side yeah there's not not much here which makes sense uh, the guy that i was watching shout out to charlie proctor by the way um on on youtube charlie prior sorry not proctor um uh, he basically mentioned that if your region has deposits is rich in deposits then you you usually have less um fertility it's so like this one look at this look at the rye fertility in this region and it it only has well okay i don't know then is that tw it has 2600 iron but never mind we look at the other regions when we get to the other regions for now we only look at our region right so we've got our people here the homeless uh, tents are here okay i understand what i i fucked up last time and i upgraded this immediately as a result it changed the um, um okay specialize the region after you reach settlement level you will you can have a development point to spend got it rename the region to pantsville yes we are officially now pantsville okay okay so this is a homeless tent right now i upgraded it to a worker camp and that is why nobody left the house after they got new places available to to live in and that is my bad and i fucked that and i sincerely apologize to the pe people in the previous game um okay now now is the difficult decision where the fuck do we start king's road cannot be removed okay that is the king's road that is that is what i was thinking but i wasn't 100% sure on it can't build near wild animals as well okay so we could start building here but then it will be too close to the stones i think we can build here this would be a good place to start building it connects to the roads and everything and then it's it's close enough to everything else although there was there was rye fertility here wasn't there ember fertility so we can't build on top of the fertility fertile, fertile zone so we could potentially build in this region we could start here around the road i think that would make sense like settlements would start around um around connection to a proper road and the the best part is there is underground water everywhere and the underground water doesn't need to be connected like there were no pipes in medieval times right so they had to physically go to the well so we could put a well down here right next to the road i think that's that's where we start we i know it's not the the first thing people think of but we're going to start with putting down a well i think not exactly on the road but a little bit off the road are assigned families work on construction automatically yes i have timber requires ox oxen to be moved villages will automatically get the oxen they need need it yes the only thing that i am worried about honestly right now is that we can do 90s because there's no traffic but all of our supplies i believe are in this area where are our supplies also you can like zoom in like proper proper zoom in and you can see all this shit so all of our supplies are here right so if we build something all the way over there it is going to move everything they're going to have to manually move everything which is fine it's not a problem is this something that we have to keep in mind we can start we can build like here i think this is the best way place to start so we're going to start by putting down um two things first we need to make a granary which is um we'll put it right here off the off this road right and we need a storehouse which we can go the other side right next to each other there about a lot of timber and blocky stuff i know i know i'm going to make these um medium priority all of them and then i'm going to make quickly make a logging camp logging camp is what we need to to produce um timber timber right and connect this up with the road really quick so 
Sorry, I'm just going to redo that. The hell can... That's the beauty of this game as well. You can um, move shit. And by move shit, I mean like rotate uh, things if they need to be rotated. Then, this is also something that I learned while watching Charlie play. You can add uh, uh, bends to your road just by clicking. So like if you if you do this, and you do this, and you do this, and you do this. Every time you click, you can add a bend to your road, which is really cool. And that's something that I'm going to use eventually. And this is going to go get highest priority, because that's going to be built Im immediately. Also, just to facilitate... Um, this really quick so that this happens faster we're gonna build this road so that people have um thing good 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 okay and now we're just gonna we need how many logs do we have we only have one timber really that can't be right we have eight stored. Eight, eight, eight timber. Okay. Okay. I think we can let it. We can. We can hit play now. And and see what happens. In the meantime, let me let me check on uh, our fertility again. Okay. So this place is all red, which means there's going to be very low fertility here, which is great place to start building these things. Um. We're going to need, I think we're going to do, so another thing that I, that I noticed last time, exposed goods, and I know, I know, I'm working on it. Where are these people? What are they doing? Unassigned transporting stone, transporting stone. What do we need stone for? Oh, you need, you need 10 stone for the granary. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. So what we're going to do immediately, this hitching post, we're going to upgrade it. We don't have timber to upgrade it, fuck. We're going to maybe assign a second family to it to make it a little bit far. I don't know how, how it's going to be, be faster. Oh, this is going to take too long. I, I think I made it too far away. It's fine, it's fine. We're okay. We'll be figure it out. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to set up some stuff for the future. For example, uh, see what I don't know is if are we physically moved. Okay, it might take a while. Yeah, I, I get that. What I don't know is these people, if they will flattening ground, flattening ground. I think the flattening ground people are going to go work on the camp immediately because that is the highest priority. But I think the resources are going to be moved here first because they're closer. I don't know if priority actually affects moving of resources. That's something that I have not um, looked into. In the meantime, berries here. We don't have a berry deposit yet, uh, like a gatherer thing yet. Okay, they've moved resources here first. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna... I think since we only have one ox, it makes no sense to have two families assigned here to the hitching post for now. So we're only gonna go leave it for one and have the others be... Um, whatever this is. Hmm. Okay, I do believe that, that I... This is taking too long to transport all the resources, but I think it'll be beneficial in the long run to have this like sort of the center area where everything can be <clears throat> consolidated around it. Um, we can also start work on building houses, but I believe we don't... I don't want to build anything else yet till we get the... No, actually, wait, you know what? I can. I'm going to put down... Um, Industry, no. Gathering, right? And I'm going to put down a woodcutter's lodge. 
like this. <clears throat> it won't let me. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm just gonna put it down. Um, so what I want to do is I want to put it down. Um, let me just road it up, I guess, first. Right, and then we have it facing this way. It's meow. 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 Hello, Quicks. Welcome in. Welcome to this stream. Oh, Manor Lords. Dude, I absolutely love this game. It is... It is... Um, a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying it, even though I absolutely suck at it. Okay, so yeah, so this is going to be low priority, lower than the other stuff, but we can set it up right now. If that's what I'm saying. Uh, and uh, not enough goods. I know. I know. Wait, you can't even put it down if you don't have enough goods. Oh, damn. I didn't know that. <clears throat> That's going to be a problem. Dude, they're taking too long to walk. Even. Okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll let them take the time they need to construct and to do stuff. They don't even have their second fucking log yet. Oh no. Where is the... I like how you can like... Ox waiting, a guide is coming, okay. I like how you can like zoom in completely. And you can like see them do their work. You can. This is what I really like. See the ox is being. It's it's taking the wood over to um, <clears throat> the location and everything. I think I should have built a road like this, but that would have cut down too many trees, right? I want. I just want to see how much this would have cost in terms of trees. Oh, putting down roads doesn't cut down trees. Huh. Look at that. That's gonna save a fuck ton of time. <clears throat> Could have done that earlier. But... Less brain cells sometimes are a problem. Okay, what are they waiting on? They're waiting on one more um, piece of wood. Take it all the way. Please, 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 please. Let's go! It's taking it all the way. All the way! To fucking victory town all the way <coughs> okay so the, all the resources that this place requires have been put down and now it's going to go back from this road let's go this is great <coughs> and the best thing is there's no wild animals here so there's no chance of the ox being attacked i don't know if that's a feature also but i'm just covering my bases the minute this gets built i'm gonna put down a a dude to start wood cutting. And the other thing also, um, the other thing also, you can decide which area you want these people to cut in. So I'm going to have them cut right along the road. I think that's the best, that's the smartest way to start it. Yeah, let's go, it's done. Okay. And, and now, assign a family. Yes, I'm going to assign two families even. And, advanced, limit their work area to... Can you make the circle bigger? How do you make the circle bigger? Why did it work this permanently in the advanced time? Yes, got it. How do we make the circle bigger or smaller? Adjust size, control. Okay, look at that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna make them do this area. What we're gonna do is, we're also gonna put down a road. I feel like putting down roads is just um, going to cause more chaos. Like, I don't want to... Um, Start on the start with that. I'm gonna increase priority to um, highest for the well, very high for the well, and high for the storehouse and the granary, and make the woodcutter's lodge medium priority. I like that you can change priorities on stuff because on stuff because this is um, we have no timber left though. So I'm gonna wait on. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can pause this really quick. I want them to build the storehouse uh, first. Because then, once they build the storehouse, uh, we'll be able to store the timber here. Otherwise, um, <clears throat> Manor Lodge is also on Windows. Yeah, unfortunately it is. Okay, so, we're gonna save really quick because this game has a bad habit of crashing at the worst possible time. 
and there is an auto save every 10 minutes but um, i'm going to rename this to new game <clears throat> sorry about that new game um may 3rd there we go fuck yeah all right customizing the stream has been a fun and learning experience dude i love it i used to hate it when i first started but now it's it's like dude this is so cool the food is getting is going to go bad in the fucking um oh the well has been built let's go i'm worried the food is going to go bad sitting out in the rain i don't know what the time time limit on that is where do we have two people assigned ah, okay one at the logging camp we're going to go back to the the logging even if it takes time to do it it's whatever uh what we need to do really quick is get planks on the go we have no fuel i know we have no fuel no fuel consumption i mean thank you for that rp is one of my closest friends and i absolutely love him hey yo what the fuck <laughs> so it is literally just a command that's why it's only one channel point because um is it really just there to fuck with him okay i like i like the way this is going now picasso um the map looks really cool you can i'm going to start setting up things soon i'm just waiting on public order public order is new i'm pretty sure this is a new thing huh or maybe i just didn't see it that's that's really possible how long has it been we're already in april fuck that's that's uh, one month has already been monthed guys there are my builders where the fuck are my there are there they are okay good <clears throat> what i would like love banning rp same same what i would like though to fix this um this thing is if they had like a worker station where you could assign workers instead of just having them be empty or be unassigned i think that would be a cool thing in future updates okay so we have a storehouse now which is great now we can start focusing on how much wood do we have we have six timber timber okay good uh so we can start building a um saw pit so go here <coughs> perfect and what else do we need we need a a forester hut is needed but not right now we have enough we have enough trees for a while so we don't need a forester hut immediately we can work on it eventually if the if it pops up as a requirement uh what we're going to do though is over here i think wait no yeah so we have a wild animal thing over here so we're going to set up no first we need food right proper food from here from the berries so we're going to set up a berry forager hut which is um forager hut is over here can we put it down put it down here i think we should let's let's move it a little bit here right the forager hut gets uh what priority are these on um these are medium i'm going to move these move them to high i'm going to move this to highest very high sorry and i'm going to make this leave this at medium okay good <coughs> so um they can keep building these things while the stuff is happening um and once all the stuff has been moved from here we're going to move the hitching post and we're going to move the hitching post closer to town as well we don't need it that that far away for now but there there are still a lot of food supplies here that need to be moved so once they are moved we're going to move this stuff as well in the meantime uh we can start construction work on housing uh so i i learned something some building have flexible borders space four points designated an area because it will snap you can leave more space for future ex extension upgrades this is something that i <clears throat> did not read the the last time i played this which was like 3 4 days ago so apparently when you build the housing which they're called burgage plots um i think i can build them right in front of this place here so when you build the housing right there is a like you can build them as long as you'd like here 
and there is these extensions not enough goods okay we're going to wait for that there are these extensions to the houses that i did not notice last time i thought that they were there was these things were room for secondary housing 1 2 3 4 5 6 secondary housing in the sense that um, we could build a second plot here but these are extensions to the main house which means that that these these houses um as the game progresses they can be made to work specialized jobs like um like they can become uh, they can become cattle owners uh, or or uh, they can they can run um um they can make tools and weapons and stuff in house which is something that i didn't know so so this is going to be a oh i made them wrong fuck oh no uh pause uh fuck so what i want them to look like wait let me how do we demolish um just manually right demolish demolish there has to be a better way to do this than this i'm sure the devs are working on it okay so so basically what what i need is um there's also this thing called a marketplace right the marketplace has to be the center location surrounding all the houses or like in the middle of all the houses so what i was thinking is we could have um wait oh wait 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 let me let me try this really quick if i do it this way and we do this we do not enough wood for 14 houses of course it's fine everything has been built so far this is being built come on game right these are six plots right if we move them around this way that's the extension and this is where the road goes right i think this will be the smart way to do it yeah this way and then what we can do is put down roads connecting this here this can go this way we can build more houses this side right marketplace that we need to set up that marketplace can go so the marketplace is basically where people who own like someone who owns the 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 shop it right they're going to cut make planks these people have the facility to oh fuck i'm going to need more people aren't i um they're going to have the facility to set up a small stall in the marketplace where they can um sell those goods so it's like just another way of of increasing um approval and stuff it's it's cool so we're going to make the marketplace like this big i guess 65 location that feels like too much personally for me i feel like that's too much i don't know if we even have 65 things to sell you know we can always start small and make it bigger it's not going to cost us any money but like still i don't want to overextend ourselves or our people 21 seems decent enough for now with with room to expand if needed right okay well supplied marketplace is life part of your town start small and make it bigger exactly avan you get it <laughs> aside from these will set up stalls automatically current supply demand burger is close close to the market see this is why i wanted to build it close to the market because last time when i built it i had uh, so what i had was i had my plots here right like this and there were like 6 8 10 plots like four here four here four here and the marketplace was here so it would only go to these four the other eight didn't get fuck they got fuck all so i'm going to increase the priority on two of these actually you know i'm going to make them highest very high high medium low very low so it goes in order um okay running out of food okay good i have people to help with that we have our berry people doing berry stuff now um This still feels a little far away from supplies. We have nine bread. I need 
So what I need is woodcutter's lodge, right? They are making firewood. How much firewood do we have? We have 20 firewood. So I think we can afford to not have this dude um, do firewood stuff. And we have zero planks. So we can get started on planks. In the meantime, I want someone to, I want to assign someone to the granary. Uh, no, actually. I'm going to put this second guy in the... I think this is okay for now. I'm just, I'm just waiting to get some... Some level of, of um, resources started. Oh, this is also a really cool thing. You can walk around your town. And you can run. Look at this. This is so cool. How cool is this? I wish there was a facility where you could like help out. I hope it, it, they bring that in the future uh, updates. That'll be really cool. Okay, one, two, three, four, five is doing construction. Okay. What we need is, um, thank you for the save. What we need is, like I was saying, we need to get a re, um, you know what, fuck it. We don't need planks right now. I'm going to put them in the storehouse. Yeah, because we need them to move the resources from, from, especially the food, other resources can wait. But we need people to do that, so we're gonna um, get started on that stuff. The only thing I need timber and I need planks for really is is um, to be able to upgrade the hitching post so we can have two boxes. We can't have two right now. To upgrade we need two planks. So <clears throat> yeah, there we go. The warehouse worker is transporting firewood. Perfect. <clears throat> and this is the Katharina and, and and whoever they're they're transporting goods. It's a pain in the ass. They only transport one fucking log timber at a time, so that's becoming a problem. How much storage do we have? We only have two log storage. Where are all our logs? Needs more food or more fuel? I know, I know. I'm working on. <clears throat> I was so excited about all the progress we were making, but turns out that we've we're not we're not doing well right now at all. I was excited for no reason. Okay, berries have gone down. That means someone is picking them. I think maybe if we do this, it makes it faster, easier for them. I don't know. There is a food stall set up as well. That is great for the berries. That is perfect. And the storehouse is being is being filled. Perfect. Homeless will move to the plot and if a pool is high enough, might attack new families too. Families need more than space to be happy. Click on the building to check their requir residential requirements. Yes. Okay. So, we need a church, which we'll work on. We need fuel. We need food. And we need clothes. Clothes is going to be something that uh, we're going to have to start working on now. I believe uh, we can up the priority on these by one. By one. By one. By one. Okay. In the meantime, um, wild animals, right? We need someone to do hunting. So we're going to set up um, a gathering. is going to be a hunting camp. Should we move it? Should it be right here next to the other, other resources? Or should we move it closer to where? Because they're going to have to bring it back eventually, right? Fuck it. We'll just put it here. They can um, have this be the lowest priority and work on this. Oh, wait, it doesn't require any resources. I think they've already been transported. Never mind. What we desperately need is a firewood stall. Okay, that's fine. Dude, our approval is going down. 
we have one person here we have one person doing the this right one person here three where are the others what are the others doing we should have five people to one person is on the oxes oxen i think ah oh, okay then it makes sense five we have five nano hi nano thank you for the lurk i appreciate the building is happening pretty happeningly this is great and people are moving into the houses which mean homelessness is going down that is great <clears throat> love to see it uh, i'm going to put down a road over here on this side have it connect into this and extend this this way so that we can have um is june already fuck stocks are getting soaked i don't know how to fix that yet we don't have enough people in moving resources in so that's good that's, that's good um how many supplies left here only food is left so i'm going to move um this guy let him get that one piece of loam that's left and then i'm going to move him to the granary so he can pick up that bread come on pick up that wood this is one piece of wood actually we don't we sh what are they doing who is doing the foraging construction finished okay okay people are moving in this is good this is good shit okay we're going to have to unassign him from here and assign him here so he can move the <clears throat> this is looking good so far we need someone in the hunter's cabin soon as well There's no wood cutting or saw cutting happening either. Let's go. Settlement level increased. Poggers. To get more population, you have to have enough empty plots, and your approval needs to be over fifty percent. Okay. A message. Strong militia is paramount. Shipment of weapons has just arrived. Need more weapons to equip all people. That's all good. Um. What do I need? I needed to check something really quick. What do I need to check? Uh, fuck! I forgot what I wanted to check. I wish there was a tab. I think that's what we need next. We need a tab of workers seeing who's assigned where. See, if you look here, when you look at here. There are different things that they can do. You have to pay money for it. Okay, we have all five people, all five five families moved in, which means there is a. What's happening to the granary food? Why is it not being moved? Fetching water, transporting berries, bro. You know what? I'm gonna move this now. I'm gonna relocate this all the way from there. to here i'm going to make this the highest priority thank you for the lurk jazz i appreciate <coughs> we have food for 2 months we have fuel for 3 months <coughs> welcome back we are doing good we are vibing i am slightly worried that we're not collecting enough resources but it is what it is how much wood do we have We have timber, nineteen timbers. So I'm gonna remove this dude from timber. I'm gonna put him, put him in wood cutting. So we have firewood, <coughs> and still have one empty, one extra worker. We're gonna put this dude in the saw pit. Wait, so oh, the hitching post is being constructed. That's why. How long is it gonna take to transport the goods, bro? What is that ox doing over there? waiting for a guide bro oh yeah but they're building this i think first that fucking finally top thing thing my wife has ever asked how much would we have <laughs> i love it where is this what are these these people doing with this wood where are they taking it and why why is it going in the house what is in the house 
People suffering from disease may stop working. Oh no. People are sick now. We need to have an herb garden. I can't afford the herb garden right now. I don't have the money for it. Guys, I need you to work a little bit faster. Please. We have 14 firewood. We have no planks. Planks have to be the priority, people. Wait. How do I have 19 timber when there's only two here and there's only... Itching post has been finished. Let's go. We're going to reassign the family here. There's no families left. Fuck. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm thinking. Okay, we're going to assign the food. Yeah, okay, the food has been removed from here, so we can understand that we still have one free family. We need to upgrade this now, uh, once we get planks. Who is working on the planks? Transform timber into planks. I know what it does, but how does it... Where are the people? There's nobody working. Uh, residential housing. These are not straight. Fucking hell. I hate when, when there's no uniformity. Also, I can't believe I'm the one pissed about things not being straight. Me, of all people. The least straight person here. I wish there was a way to like, measure. I think maybe they'll add that in future updates. A lot of people were saying they like how there is there is no uniformity and there's no requirement for uniformity and all of those things. And I'm here like, no, I need it. I need it to be, I need, I need things to be uniform. I like, I like having grids, like, it just makes more sense to my brain that way, but... See, why could I have built six houses up there, but I can only build five houses here in the same space? This makes no sense, you know? This is what I don't like about games like this. I've put these at very low priority, because I don't need it to be constructed right now. Oh fuck, okay. They can start moving the wood here, but um, where are the planks, bro? Who is working on the planks and why are they not being built? And even the the, the wood, why is it not working? What is the issue? I don't understand. Too much to wood, sequel to the much in the wood. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Generic storage full. What is full? Log store. Really, bro? Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about the burgage plots being built right now, immediately. I'd rather they transport the wood and then they get built one all by... Hunter waiting. Why are they waiting? Who are they waiting for? To wait to ing. Uh, what do we need? We need mining. We need a mining pit eventually. We need a stone pit as well, stone quarry. Oh, so these can't be built on top of stone. These have to be built on the side, which is fine. I'll build it here. This is again for, for later. We don't need to do it now. And there's also some clay deposit here. I'm just setting down um, mines for the future, so that um, we know what to expect. Remove, oh fuck it, remove the whole thing? Oh shit balls. Damn it game. But okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. Okay, so we have this set up in case we need it in the future. <coughs> What is the wood situation looking like? What is the uh, logging camp? What is their limit work area, right? I was thinking... Okay, now this is... Let's do this. These trees, this area. <coughs> Give us a little bit of space to work with here. So what I was thinking is... <coughs> we can build a, another logging camp closer to this location. And we can mine out the area around the iron deposit. That way, 
we won't have to worry about um cutting down trees we can just harvest them use them for timber how are we doing on fuel fuck we only have two months of food left it's fine i don't care about that right now homelessness is minus six why is it minus six is it because it's it exists from last month that's why that means we won't get any ah fucking hell okay I think we're gonna have to get rid of the marketplace. I think that is what the issue is happening. Is the, is the issue that's happening? Yeah, see what the issue is. People are focusing on their marketplace more than they're focusing on actually building stuff. As a result, we have five planks. Okay, we can upgrade this now. But if I upgrade this, I'm gonna have to remove someone from. We're gonna remove the socket, dude. We don't need planks right now, anyway. We'll upgrade to a small stable, make this the highest priority, then we'll have two oxes. That will mean that we'll have to assign one more family to work with the oxes. Oxen, not oxes. But that's fine, we can figure that out. And it's gonna cost us 25 footage, 25 uh, monies to get a second ox, but it's gonna make transportation and, and construction and stuff significantly easier. Like, so easy it's it's gonna be child's play and not the chucky movie i'm not talking about that chop more trees we are chopping all the trees all the trees are being chopped there is nobody in the logging camp of course and i'm like where why are we not getting wood oh my god my fucking brain is not working today Huh. That makes so much more sense now. We have one person hunting, one person foraging. There is still no wood available. Okay, what can I do? I can I can I'll do the I'll do what I can right now, which is um set down a industry thing which is a tannery tannery is we don't have enough wood for it of course we don't i need to upgrade this really quick who's working on the the thing it's highest priority guys come on just build it for me unassigned transporting planks that's the builders because you don't need the oxen to, to transport planks What is TWS, Asaman? I've seen so many people um, say it, type it, but I have never... I don't know what it means. I think it's because the the, f the f ferry deposit is too far away. I think that's what it is. And it's already July, dude. We're gonna run out of... Uh, run out of food. I'm worried about food. We have food for two months, we have fuel for three months. People, what are they doing? Firewood cutting, what are these people doing? Construction. What are you doing all the way over there? Fuck. Why are they working on that which has low priority when this is right here? Oh my god. It really is, dude. It really is. Abito, we haven't started getting attacked by bandits yet. That's a whole other fucking thing.
come on build this for me you have the goods you have the resources just fucking build it they are working it's not like they're not doing the work it's just taking too fucking long we have a stable okay we order another ox it's going to cost us 20 monies but we have to do it is this finished it's not okay another thing that i that i saw one of these people do oh look they brought back meat and hides look at that they are actually being useful so another thing that i noticed them do is if you if you have a a granary the people in the granary will set up a stall for all the food you won't have to so the the foragers can do their work take over the construction i'll i'm going to wait we're going to get a new family we're not going to get a new family actually fuck never mind i spoke too soon do we have logging we don't have a logger right now either wood cutting is happening we need more people to move in desperately need more people to move in they've changed the the change how this stuff works like the last time that i hate this game sometimes there is so much food available at the food stall why are they not distributing it bro i don't care about families needed yo the cruiser hello welcome in i am getting frustrated with this game extremely at this point um but it is what it is we don't have a choice really <laughs> No, oh, dude. Yes, and I'm playing at like medium graphics right now. You can zoom in all the way, see the work that people are doing, which is really cool. Look at this. This is so cool. You can even walk around in your city. Look at this shit. You can go through resources. That's different, but you can still. Can you pet the ox? Please tell me you can pet the ox. Or you just go through it. Never mind. <laughs> If only people did as we told them. Oof. Yes. Okay, so this this they they are transporting resources slowly, so that's that's good. It's happening. It's just we don't have the wood for them to transport. Is the problem? And I don't know how to get more wood till. Oh, also, I don't know if I, if you can see it, but my flag is a pair of pants. It is literally a pair of pants. Oh, also, this game is free on um, on on Game Pass if you have it. We have three different types of food, but it's saying market food variety is only is is zero apparently. So I don't know what the fuck that is about. Is he coming back with? Let's go. He's coming back with hunt with the hunting stuff. That is perfect. What the fuck kind of name is? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. That is great. That is that is fantastic. It's taking them way too long to transport these resources if I may say so myself. 
I don't even know where the ox is. Like, where the fuck are they bringing these resources from? There's nothing left here. I am annoyed. I am annoyed because this previous and recent thing does, I don't understand it, firstly. Secondly, we don't have enough people to do all the jobs we need them to do. We need at least one person to get, get berries, at least one person to get hunting food, right? One person in the granary. So that leaves us with one person carrying goods around. And one person fucking doing the wood cutting. This is bullshit. Oh, there's still a bunch of logs here from the timber cutting. So we're not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight logs over there. So we're okay on in terms of that then. That's that's okay then. Do we just do I just let the game run now? Like not enough goods. I have four timber. Only three left actually. Who can I remove right now? Forager hut is needed for food. Granary is needed for for food. Three of them are just making fucking food. So, okay, how how much? Let's let's look at the field stuff. I I was that's something that I looked at, right? The the resources that we need for emmer. What the hell is emmer actually? Okay, we can make like a big ass field here for emmer farming. Fields need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. Try a size of one morgan. If you want the region to focus on farming, you can unlock heavy plow. Some crop types are more picky about their soil. Yes, got it. Wait, something happened. Okay, so we can do ember and dry in the same spot. This is great. So we can't get rid of the king's road, unfortunately. This is the king's road, I believe. Oh, no, we can. Huh. I thought that was part of the King's Road. It was. <laughs> I removed it. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it's fine. Nobody saw it. Field. Emmer. Down here. Oh, that's already huge. That's too big. Never mind. Okay. We can break it up into smaller plots, I believe. That's the smart way to do it. 1.7. Best thing is these fucking things cost no money either. Farmhouse employs families who work in fields. Set priority level. Yeah, okay. I know. I just wish... I'm just setting this up for future usage because we're gonna need ale and barley and stuff eventually. So might as well do it now. This is perfect. We have emmer and rye basically in the same spots. Dear Lordling, what the fuck? <laughs> I will get a lot of... Um, Oh, speaking of letters, fuck, I had to do a thing, didn't I? Um, where do we do that? Map. Yeah, in the map. Uh, you have... Declaration. No influence cost. No, I don't want to fight him. It's a pleasure to meet you, yes. Hello. Let me... Actually, you know what, fuck it. I don't want him to know I exist. Why would I do that? Where is my fucking families, bro? Why, when are they going to show up? Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to have them be... Um, this one's going to be wheat. This one's going to be... Wait, we can't even do rye. Really? Fucking bull. Okay. So then why did I... I got so excited for no reason. When we can't even build, can't even have rye on the thing. Okay, so we can do crop rotation, which I think is really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to have two two crops 
growing back to back and then two of these are going to be the other way around yeah so wait is the rest of these and for for barley we don't have barley fertility much do we hmm what flax a little bit over here but not much so we're going to have to focus on emmer for now which is fine it's not really a problem it's just an inconvenience is what it is this one is also going to be fallow for the first year second year will grow wheat third year will also be fallow and I'm trying to make them look a little bit aesthetically pleasing and not just uniform. Like farmhouses don't need to be uniform, you know? Um, this is also going to be fallow for the first year. Second year will grow wheat. Third year is going to be fallow again. Perfect. And that's... Two, three, four, five, six, six. I think six is enough for now. None of them are fucking straight either. Like, god damn it. Okay, we're good on food and fuel. That's a sigh of relief. Resources stolen by band. I know I need a farmhouse. I, I'm not building it right now. I don't need it immediately. When I do need it, I will think I will figure it out. Oh, speaking of figure it out, have you heard that song? Figure it out by Chandler. It is it is such a good fucking song. Wait, let me set it up. You can do this by the way. Request music. Does yellow mean they're not fertile? Yellow means they're medium fertile. So it's green, yellow and red, right? Red means zero fertility. Green means decent fertility and red means... Uh, and yellow means decent... Yeah. 49% it's going up. Let's go. We lost nine, nine tools, bro. That's bullshit. Why can we put down a farmhouse? This side here. I don't want it to be on the King's Road. These are being... These have got... Fuck, sorry. My chair is being... Bandit camp was sighted. Oh, we sight the bandit camp after they steal our resources. That's... That's... Good job, game. 50%. Oh. 50%. Okay, okay. Okay. September. New people moving in? No? It's still down. Why is it still minus six? Is there a glitch? Fuck, it's not loading now. You know, games like this are not for me. I've realized because I have zero patience. I just don't understand why homelessness is still an issue when everyone has homes. I don't know if it, if it's my system that's the issue, if it's the game that's fucking up because it's it's in such early access. I fucking hate it. Okay, we're gonna end here then. I'm not. Fuck it. I'm not in the mood. I'm just gonna end here. Thanks for surviving. I'll be back tomorrow with some D and D with session nineteen of.